Hey, welcome to the three things I learned, SaaS, sports, tech, and live events. This week we're gonna talk about assholes and bullies when you're out selling. So I spent 20 years selling into the enterprise and I've certainly come across my share of bullies, jerks, and assholes. People who call you back to yell at you, send back mean emails, or even call your boss to complain. Even though you're just out doing the best you can and trying to do it with respect. I mean, obviously we're not trying to upset anybody. Uh, we shared an email that one of our sales professionals received this week from a prospect, which is trying to be funny, but it's super disrespectful. So I'm hoping this person isn't a jerk and this was just a lapse in judgment, but we do see a lot of it. So we're gonna share three things that we learned in selling to bullies and jerks, and then a little bit of our story after. I hope you enjoy it. Number one, ignore them. Usually bullies, jerks, and assholes are the ones who come back to you and they say things like, we don't need you to contact us anymore, we're all set, or my favorite, we'll find you when there comes a time for us to need your product. Now, if we had listened to any of these people in the 20 plus years we've been doing this, or in the 14 plus years we've been doing Tech Manager, we wouldn't have a business. Obviously, we're gonna be professional, we're gonna be polite, probably not gonna reach out to that person anymore, but don't listen to them. They're never right. 99 times out of 100, they're not the ones making the decisions in the first place. Just ignore them and move on. It has nothing to do with you that they're having a bad day. That's number one. Number two, see it as an opportunity. I know that sounds counter to what just happened when somebody came back to you and they were a super jerk, but tag them on LinkedIn and pay attention to when they leave the organization. Because here's the thing, most of the time, somebody who's going to be that kind of jerk to a total stranger who's just doing their job and being polite is usually not all that well liked in their organization. There have been a number of scenarios where we've done this and then the minute that person leaves, we contact the people around them and their replacement and we get a wonderful customer. So number two, when you're dealing with a bully and a jerk, see it as the opportunity that it is. Odds are they're not very nice to their team either and their team doesn't really like their decision making. That's number two. And finally, number three, defend your team against them. Uh, this is important, especially in the, long, in the long run. I remember when I was selling a long time ago and I would contact a VP and leave a message and I would contact another VP two days later, but they shared the same assistant. So that assistant would sometimes call and complain to somebody or say that we're reaching out too much. That's happened a number of times since we've started running this business over the last 15 years where people call and complain or call and yell at things that are not nefarious by nature. We're not looking to upset anybody. Obviously you wouldn't sell anything if that's the case. Here's a simple tip when that happens. 99% of the time, the companies that are calling you to complain about this, so the person that works there is not in sales, but they work in a business that interrupts our day very regularly. And I can tell them directly, is this the same super pages that sends me five emails a week, three mailers a week and calls me constantly? Is this the same bank that interrupts the live events I'm watching with my kids with their advertisements that I can't force pass forward through because it's live? Listen, being cold called and being solicited to is a part of life. It's how business gets done. So be nice. We wrote an article years ago called Why We Still Cold Call because it does still work for us and I highly encourage reading that. In it, we talk about all the amazing friendships and doors that have opened because we've done it. And one of the most important aspects of that is ignoring jerks, assholes, and bullies. They are not worth your time. One thing not worth ignoring is that email. It's so egregious that somebody would think that this is a professional way to talk to anyone, but hey, here we are. That's it for the three things this week. We'll see everybody next week.